Sunday, uh, back at 28th of January it was, Sunday the 28th of January. And uh, the day started, I thought, well, I just found out the night before that I got through to the final. So 160 people started, 12 people ended up in the final. And I thought, okay, well, this, you know, it's a final, it's at the theatre. Surely it'll start about 6 p.m., some, you know, reasonable hour. And we got an email in the morning about 10 o'clock saying, oh, we'll see, oh, sorry, about 9 o'clock. See you down at the theatre at 11 o'clock. Well, no, it must be like a dress rehearsal or something, you know. <laughs> so I messaged back and I said, oh, should I bring all my gear with me? And he replied, of course you should. The comp starts at midday. And so I jumped in the shower, grabbed all my stuff, hot-footed it down to the orphan, which is about a 10-minute walk for me where I was staying in Memphis. Got there, and uh, they drew some straws or some, some you know, advanced method of working out the order of the, of the, um, of the contestants. And so there were 12 contestants, started at 12, and I drew the second last straw. So I was playing at 5.30 in the afternoon. Yeah, right, that's what I thought. I thought, well, how am I gonna get through the day? I didn't want to sit in the green room all day. It was all a bit weird. Some of the some of the American acts and the Canadian acts. I hope there's no Canadians in here. But they're a little pushy and they're a little weird. They were kind of bullying and getting around the green room like they were kind of trying to put everybody else off. So I thought, psych out those damn right, trying to psych people out. So I thought, no, nah, I'm, I'm not going to hang around in the green room. So I have devised this method of getting through my day. So I'd walk out the side door of the stage out onto the street, I'd walk up the street, in through the front door of the theatre, get myself a scotch and soda, go into the theatre, sit in the back row and watch two songs of each contestant. And so I did that. And then they'd, they'd do two songs, they'd do four songs, but I'd watch two. And then I'd finish my drink, I'd walk back out, down the street, back in the side door. Righto. And uh, that didn't happen. And then... Um, and then I'd do the same all day. And so that's what I did all day. I'd sit in the green room for five minutes. The next act would start. I'd walk out, up, get myself a scotch and soda. So by the time I played at 5.30, I was pretty well lubricated, right? <laughs> and so that's, that's how the day went for me. And then at 5.30, I went on. And this was the first song I played. Now, if anyone, if anyone sees the video of this, you won't notice. But I thought, and I played the song differently, through the week, and then something got into my head. I thought, well, I'm just going to start the song. Soda, Must have been the Scotch and Soda. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'll just start the song by just singing and not playing guitar. And I did that, and I forgot one line of the song. <laughs> and I fudged it with another line, and nobody noticed. And I thought, well, this is could have been a shit start, but ended up being an okay start. So I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm just going to start the song the way I always bloody do. It's called In the Dark of the Night. Oh, 